Okay, guys. I um, just got over to my buddy Daryl's. I'm actually on the other side of the fields here because I don't have a quad to go down today. So the trail that we walked down is right here. So I'm going to walk the trail right down. Check out this food plot that I sprayed, see how it looks, and then uh, get on out of here. I think what I'll do is I just cut right across because the path is right over here. Just wasn't sure if there were going to be any deer in the field here this morning. Squirrel. <laughs> Boy, I really hope this took killed this off because it was really high. Swap the camera card out too just because we're right here so might as well check it right. Alright. I'm going to walk down here and pay attention so I don't slip. I'll see you down at the food plot. All right. Just getting down here. It's pretty wet and muddy. But uh, it looks like it's starting to kill it off. I don't think it's killed it off completely, though. But it is working, so this stuff is dying. But it was high. I mean, you can take a look here. I'll show you. We'll just walk through. This is all, this was all sprayed in through here. So it is dying, it is killing it off, but there was a lot. Yeah, it's, it's working, but there's a lot going on here. You can see it all. Daryl is going to have to come down here, though, and hit this with his DR trimmer. I think he's going to need it, but you can see everything there that I sprayed. It is working. Let's go over to this side. Killed this off pretty darn good too. So, it's probably gonna need another week to really kill it off, but the stuff is dying, which is good to see because this was really tall. But I think I'm going to have to have Daryl come down here with his with his DR and mow this area. Mulch it up. That'll help any of the dead vegetation that's still standing in here get down and kind of mulch, act as a mulch, and then we'll get in here with something and try and turn this soil. And then we should be in good shape. So, all right. I'm just going to get a few pictures with the phone to show him and David and then uh, we're going to check this camera over here change the card out and get out of here
So the spray is, is taking, which is good. But I am gonna tell Daryl, see if he can get down here in the next day or two to mow this. And uh, that should help. So, all right guys, I'm gonna walk back up to the truck. I'm gonna head back to my farm. I'm gonna go back, gotta pick some grape leaves for my wife because she's making pickles and uh, she needs some wild grape leaves. And I'm gonna check my two cameras back there and then that's it for today. Last stop of the day. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's getting hot and muggy. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the heat. I'd much rather the fall, cool fall temperatures, not hot fall temperatures. But just got down to our farm. Take a walk back. I'm gonna head up to the food plot first. And I'll check that camera, check that new camera that I put out, and then uh, we're gonna go see if we can pick some leaves, some grape vine leaves for my wife so she can make pickles. One of the things I'm doing as I'm walking up the tree line, I chose not to ride the quad today is even though it's early yeah, time of year, you know, for deer, uh, I'm, I'm looking for deer. I mean, we got soybean out here in the field, but up this, I mean, we know this, this is our farm. We know the deer travel this edge, but one of the things you want to look for is are they starting to do any kind of scraping, any kind of signs that they're starting to get a little bit <sighs> dropping their territory you know, trying to meet up with a doe and so forth. And, you know, you can kind of pretty much see. So here we got a branch hanging down and this is, this is busted off. Okay. And then down here in the dirt, I'm going to show you, you can see a bunch of tracks all in through here. where these deer are starting to do a little scraping. It's early on. This is the time of year where people are putting a lot of mock scrapes out. I haven't done any of that, but I did find another uh, branch that was broken off, older, but there's uh, signs of the dirt worked down below that, before that area. So these are the things you're looking for, kind of getting an idea. And I know as I walk this tree line, actually, you know, walk this tree line many, many times in my life. Uh, these deer travel it, but more importantly, from my parents' house, we can we can glass this field. And this is where I've seen a couple of pretty good buck already this year. So I know that they're starting to cruise this wood line. We've got soybean here. We've just got a big hay field with some clover in it on the other side. And our food plot's up above here. So I just thought I'd share that with you out doing some scouting these are some things you want to look for now especially if you're hunting public land that maybe might be adjacent to some agriculture or you know if the state is planting some ag these are some things you want to look for along with some bedding areas so all right I'm almost at the food plot I'll see you there well that humidity and then a rain combination really kicked up the weeds on me and my food plot here. I mean, the clover's still growing, but it really kicked the weeds up, which I ain't thrilled about. So I'm gonna have to get with David and figure out what we can use to spray so we don't kill off. Um, the clover and a little bit of radishes and stuff that are in here. But I'm gonna check this camera and then go to the next one and get on out of here.
Now I'm gonna head down here, see if I can't, plenty of deer droppings, which is good to see. All right, guys, I'm gonna go down here, see if I can get some grapevines for my wife, or some grapevine leaves. So, okay, guys, <laughs> well, There goes a buck right there. A nice buck just jumped out of this ditch right here where all these grapevines are. Look like a nice tight racked buck. At least a six, seven points maybe. Real good looking buck. Hopefully I have him on camera. Cause he, he's a nice one. But I'm here. This is for my wife. All right, because I like pickles, so. She's making pickles, found the new recipe, and it incorporates leaves from grapevines. And we've got a lot of wild grapevines back here on this one property. So I'm gonna drop the insights pack, pull out my easy cut pruners and a plastic bag or two, and uh, get her, her uh, grape leaves so she can make pickles. I think that's plenty. I think I got more than two dozen for sure. So, all right guys. Well, it's getting hot. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for following me along this morning. Um, I'm gonna go home, get out of these clothes, get something to drink, a little bit of breakfast. Take a look at those uh, pictures on all the cameras and uh, get my wife her grape leaves. Uh, we'll share the pickles in another video so uh, we'll let you know how that turns out and we'll share that with you and um, until next time thanks for following me please subscribe to our YouTube channel we greatly appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving us um, watching the videos and sharing them and liking them and commenting on them check out all the links in the description below to the companies we work with there's some great discounts on the insights backpacks the killer food plot seeds uh, altera alpaca socks and the raptor razor knives so get those deer seasons coming hunting seasons coming you're going to want to get uh, the stuff that you need just like i have here to get you in and out of the woods with everything that you need on a hunt so all right guys that's all i got for today Got my easy cut pruners, got my grape leaves, no coyotes, so we're going to head home. We'll see you.